Gunsmith's Bible. Right click to permanently replace this with a cannon trinket relic based on your current act. Interesting. Cannon trinket relics. Cannon card gains cumulative. The next cannonball card you play this turn costs zero. And apply vulnerable to all enemies and gain two strength and weak all enemies. All enemies lose two strength. Right click to... Wait. When? When does it do it? I don't understand. Is like a potion? That's my deck. Strike, 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 defend, 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 defend. Round shot. Reload. Gain six block, return a cannon or cannonball from your exhaust pile to your hand. I don't have any. Oh, that's a cannonball. And it goes to my exhaust pile. I get it. Okay. Makes sense. I am... <laughs> is, <laughs> is this the part from Pirates of the Caribbean where almost all of the ship is underwater? <laughs> character is balanced around taking the Act 1 starter. I don't know what that means. Music seems super loud compared to voice. Not boss sapping. I don't know what that means either. The Abyssal uses a cannon to make their next cannonball attack cost zero or to retain both the cannon and the cannonball. Their gunsmith's variable starter relic lets you choose to start using the cannon at any point. Deferring this decision until a later act grants additional benefits for using the cannon, such as applying vulnerable to enemies or gaining strength. Right clicking on the gunsmith's bible starter relic at any point in the run will permanently replace it with the corresponding cannon trinket relic and put the cannon in your hand. Gotcha. Alright. Boom, boom. If I'm lucky... I think because of the interaction with the cannon thing... Oh, also I'm playing at Ascension Zero. Okay, sure. Also that. Brace for impact! Next turn, gain 10 block. Subdue. Deal 5 damage, deals additional damage equal to ink on the enemy. I don't have any of that. Deal 4 damage. Whenever you bury, return this from the discard pile to your hand. It sounds like it's Flurry of Blows? Maybe? I like Flurry of Blows. Ninja butts. I appreciate the year subbed. Smoke bomba. Deal 7 damage for 0. Put this card on top of your draw pile and reduce this damage by 2. Oh. Oh, that does make it worse. I'm gonna go double beach, buddy. Sure hope this card is good. Sure hope this card is good. Thanks for thanks for the 60 months. Nine years ago, you'd never dream that you'd watch me depopulate an edifice as Pirate Cthulhu. And yet, here we are. Deal 9 damage and bury a card. 
Aw, the art on trusty shovel isn't that good. Exclamation mark dig. Uh, gain seven block if this is the first card you played this turn. Gain three additional block. Well, I'm gonna take trusty shovel, I guess. Ghost of Blackbeard is like an anti my deck card. Rude. Oh. Okay. Ooh, retain. That's a cool upgrade. Sure. The start of your turn, you may bury a card. Bury all but one card from your draw pile, then draw, then deal two damage for each card buried. Oh shit, we're making a giant mess. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this just feels like pandering. Uh. <laughs> um Kind of slow, isn't it? Huh. What is the upgrade? Do you think it upgrades to exclamation mark dig? Pandering has made you change your opinion worthwhile watch. <laughs> oh my god. I just... Um, turns out I didn't need to do that. Does this work? Ah, it doesn't work. Fair enough. But it is less drop pile. I'm confused. Deal 8 damage and apply 2 ink to all enemies. The next time this enemy would deal damage, prevent damage equal to the ink value. Deal that much damage to the enemy and then remove that much ink. Fascinating. It's an AoE damage and defend type of card. Alright, I'll take one of those. Darkstone Periapt. Maybe skip that. Inksteresting. Inksteresting indeed. Oh fuck. Trusty shovels back. Bury all non attack cards in your draw pile. Seems like a bad idea. I'm going to take this one. Mod developers, the ones who gifted the subs. Yes, I believe the developer of the mod gifted subs. Thank you. 
What does Barry do? Puts a card in my draw pile into my discard pile. <laughs> well, look at that uh, interface element. That's cool. to buy the sentries. Dark Offering. Bury up to X cards and apply 2X ink to all enemies. Apply two weeks, shuffle a shovel blade. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Um... Let's take Dark Offering. No! Tropomiosum. Enemy loses one strength and gains two ink. Apply volatile ink to enemy for one turn. Ink is removed from enemies at the end of turn instead of during damage. Benefits multi-attack. Alright, well, the next cannonball you play and the first cannonball you play each turn costs zero. Ooh. Isn't that what this does? Next cannonball you play this turn costs zero. Cannon card gains. So I can make all my cannon cards cost zero? What? What? How's that not broken? I gain a card that has those effects. Hmm. Wait, what the shit? These attack you turn one? Yo. Ascension Zero is hard. Balls are so expensive that they've been more like canton balls so far. That's a good one. That's that's funny. I'm actually laughing right now. You just I have the mic muted, so you can't hear. Uh discard a card at the start of your next turn, dig. Oh wait. Let's do some digging. Dig relic dig. Vor paint. Gain 12 block. Next time the enemy would gain block instead it doesn't. Ho 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 ho! Another beach buddy. Deal 5 damage, deal 7 additional damage for each energy spent this turn. Nah, I'm good. Three beach buddies, two defend plus. Wonderful, it's everything I ever wanted.
I like the little animated bits for digging and burying. Me too, maybe. Maybe a little bit. It'd be kind of cool. All right. What a pop off. I could use a potion here just to end the fight. I need to. We are playing Ascension Zero. For better or worse. What if I don't bury anything? Ah, it doesn't work. Okay. That was an awkward thing to discover, I guess. You see, I am using the old Slay the Relics. I'm not using Slay the Relics. I don't have it turned on. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. If I played Tester's mod, is that the one that has everything in the entire universe? Oh my god, I can dig up a shovel and then use the shovel to bury things? It's too much. Pretty sure this costs zero. Cool. Is it Gambler's Brew or Gambler's Brew? Not sure how that's pronounced. Game two block Storm. Play a copy of this card for each previous card played this turn. Yo. Yo, this this mod class has Storm decks. Oh my. Oh my. Get Luis on the phone. Luis. Luis. Where are you? Luis! Luis, the mod has storm decks. <laughs> Trigger the start of combat and start of turn effects of target relic. I have to think about like every relic in the game real quick. It has exhaust though. You can hover over the card slash relics to see the effect. Thank you, Jay Paro. Thank you so much for uh, for helping me to understand Slay the Spire, this new game I am playing. I'm just taking Cyclone. I'm just taking it because it seems cool though. I don't actually think it's like good here. Health. There's no way Death Knell upgrades to all relics. It upgrades to like cost zero, probably. <laughs> Goxio. I'm doing pretty well. Oh, they sink after only three hits. Sucks for them. I don't know why I hit that one. That was the wrong one to hit. I think 
spell. Holy shit! Holy shit! It stacks Storm for every time it plays? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Alright. Um. That's not how I thought that was going to work. We do have to find a grape shot, it's true. Grape shot. Damn it. Gain one corrupt artifact. Prevents the next buff that would be applied to target. To me? No. I don't want that shit. You killing me? Target must be anime. Nope. Another ink blast. Oh wait, no, that's the first ink blast. Makeshift spear. Deal eight damage to all enemies when this card is upgraded. Remove it from your deck instead. What? That? Ooh. Huh. What? Hey, Lairdies. Okay, having to watch it go like seven times. Fun the first time, less fun the second time. Bunny plus Beach Buddy is your favorite card of all time. Believable. Holy shit, it's a jam. Holy shit, it's a jam. Cutlass is incredibly bad. Maybe you're incredibly bad. Maybe if you were better, Cutlass would be better for you. I should listen to music more often than I do. Instead of listening to it all the time, I should listen to it more than all the time. Cutlass would be really good right now. Okay, maybe it wouldn't be that good.
Mysterious. This card cannot be upgraded outside of combat. How does upgrade in combat? <gasps> That's super mysterious. What back off prop? Ah. GG. A start of turn, apply ink to all enemies equal to their current ink. Found drop kick. I feel like Beach Buddy maybe doesn't have quite as much support as I was hoping it would. Pirate Bay. Create a copy of a card in your draw pile. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Okay. I'm actually kind of into that. I feel like ink deck wins is just like the way to go here. Ah. Eh, it's probably not that good. I don't think I care about apotheosis because I have the dig mechanic to upgrade my cards. Like it's fine, but it's not that exciting to me. You need to pay for Pirate Bay. Hell yeah. It's not free. Are you kidding me? People can't just run a website for free. Obviously, you have to pay for it. How many? Oh, whoops. How many shurikens do you think I'm gonna find this run? I like that could be good. Thirty six for the ten months. Appreciate it. There's math to do here? I don't want to do the math. It's a problem. Probably. I should have put a defend. So I could get that instead. Yeah, that would have been better. Stupid snake plant. It's outplayed me. He's my deck 30% Beach Buddy. Question one, is your deck 30% Beach Buddy? Question two, why is it only 30% Beach Buddy? <laughs> Sandblast, mercenaries. The first time you play this, each combat lose 15 gold? Nah. When you bury this card, gain two energy. Deal 12 damage. Apply 2 weak and vulnerable. Costs 1 less for each card buried this turn. Oh, I mean, that's almost worth playing for 3. Mercenaries plus ectoplasm equals no downside. Genius. 
good point. Wait, none of these discard. Wait, none of those discard or dig or whatever. Uh oh. What? Oh, this is on. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Fine. Why would you want black cannon in your deck? Doesn't seem like a card I would want in my deck. Maybe I'll find out more about it and discover it's secretly great. Volatile Ink. Ink is removed from enemies at the end of turn instead of during damage. It benefits multiple attacks. Oh, wait. Oh! I got a battleship! For my, for my pirate. This is perfect. Whenever you use energy, gain a temporary strength. Still haven't found the payoff for my storm. Question <laughs> mark. Let's not talk about it. Is a burying link in Tumeng? You put it in your discard pile. That is what it is. Hardened Brene. Whenever you use energy, gain one block for each energy spent. Shots in the dark. And deal two damage to a random enemy four times. If it kills an enemy, play this card again. I'm not going to lie. I just want this to kill every enemy in the game by itself. That's my immediate thought. Maybe we take Hardened Brene. Let's take Hardened Brene here. Creative uncertainty thanks to the Prime! Sorry, the Prime. <laughs> Davy Jones Locker. Purge this and the next card you play. You can purchase a card remove for only 148 and a card drawn and an energy in your next fight. When you lose any HP this turn, receive that much bleeding instead. At the end of your turn, lose HP equal to half your bleeding and then reduce your bleeding by that amount. Hmm. It's better upgraded. That is often the case with cards.
Zap is better without the upgrade. Okay. Yep. Same. I just kind of clicked things completely at random there, I'll be honest. Oh, order. I wonder what I just need to copy on. I guess I'll find out someday. Probably should have gone for the upgraded one first. It's okay then. Jeech. Wooden compass. Whenever you bury a card, deal five damage to a random enemy. It's over. GG. It's actually over. Bury a card, draw a card. It's over. Well done, everyone. Congratulations. Thanks for the two years, Dr. No! I'll <laughs> be honest with you, I'm a big order fan. Me too. Dig plus draws a card as well. Holy shit. Wait, drawing a card is worse. Uh oops. Let's play this. I don't have it anymore. Clever. I that turn really badly. You don't need to talk about it. Post a link to the Abyssal Discord. Sure. Oh my god, I'm tired. Ah, uh, bum bum bum. Bearing seems like it would lead to some easy infinites. You might be right. Choose a card, but into your discard pile. Are you just gonna die? You can't die. You have to let me uh, combo off. No. I'm not ready for you to die yet. Alright, well, that's fine. 
But if Champ didn't die, fuck! I wanted to play the storm thing. This fucking wooden compass shit. <clears throat> this turn, your next attack or skill. Or skill? Play twice. That's very Oberdan. It looks like exactly how the ship on the Oberdan is. Bury all but one card from your draw pile. Then deal two damage for each card buried. Purge this, and the next card you play, gain a Davy Jones locker in your deck. What? Wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you can't do that. That's actually too good. No, that's actually too good. I, I'm not okay with that. This is the first time it's like, no, that's not. <laughs> let's, let's not. <laughs> well, you can upgrade cards mid-combat with this character, right? So... Hmm. Well. This does seem pretty sweet. I don't know if I made a big enough deck for it to really be good. Let's try it, though. I have Pirate Bay. You can already remove multiple times. Yep, I guess that's also true. Pirate Bay at least has exhaust there, right? But yeah, I mean, I mean, that's like, I don't know. That's just, there are going to be times when it's not good, and then there are going to be times where it just completely degenerately ruins your entire run. And so it seems like a pretty bad card to put in the card pool. Replaces your cannon relic or gunsmith's Bible. At the start of combat, add a cannon to your hand. Cannon gains. The next cannonball you play this turn costs you and is played twice. Nope. The Abyssal. First time you bury each turn, gain an energy. Okay. You found an energy relic. Purges, so you have to be fancy to play it repeatedly. Right, so it's either shit or it breaks the run. <laughs> Those both seem pretty bad for card to be. Snake with that power removal. Oh, people did. Like, yeah, people people did mention Frozen Egg with it. See, this is pretty bad here, right? <laughs> Doesn't seem that good. Um, admittedly, it is maybe not the best situation for it. Maybe it will be better other times. Giant beak! <laughs> what? <laughs> so 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> um... Um, hello? That's weird. <laughs> Time warp. Let's do it again. At the start of turn, return the first non-exhaust card you played the previous turn to your hand and gain energy equal to its cost. Next time you lose gold, gain that much gold. Wait a second. I wonder how that stacks. I kind of want this. Seems kind of sweet. All right. That helps me to spend lots of mana every turn. Energy? It's called energy. I forgot. I forgot. It's the thirty seven months friendly shambler. card to put on top of your draw pile and then bury the rest. <laughs> Do it. Headbutt. Recognize that card? an enemy with fucking malleable again. This is the worst thing ever. It did squab. Why did I block for 15 there? At the start of turn, return the first non-exhaust card you played the previous turn to your hand. Is this a non-exhaust card? I mean, it shouldn't be. Nah. Oh shit! I'm using a potion. Gift subs are not given to current viewers. Some of them might be, but they are given to people that the Twitch algorithm decides will be more likely to spend longer on Twitch if they receive a gift sub to your channel. Welcome to... yeah. Yeah, welcome to that. I'll be the first person to just go the whole run and just not take the cannon. I mean, it seems like fine. Down with the ship! <laughs> uh, what 
card do I want on top? Big man. Yeah, that didn't die. <laughs> the amount that this didn't die, holy shit. Um, wait, why does this have a thing on it? Because it's generated in combat or something? Yeah, not sure. Probably because it's generated in combat. That makes sense, actually. Oh, I should have um, done this first. Whoops. Man, I am doing some stuff this turn. Uh, all right. It was very worked. It puts a card in your draw pile and your discard pile. Choose a card to upgrade and put into your hand. That one. I think I did it. I think I won. Ink Potion. Apply 12 ink. Cool. Headbutt. Shots in the dark. Very. I like this card. Start taking question marks over hallway fights so I don't have to play any more hallway fights. Down with the ship! The Abyssal. Rate this character's power level from 0 to Watcher. Exactly 62. Well, this is like... Is this over this turn? Probably not. Probably not quite. Is the ink power even doing anything? Sometimes I bury it. That's, that's about it so far. I should get rid of ink shift spear probably. doesn't actually work how I want it to. Oops. Go on. The two X's all messed up. <gasps> I did it. Let's bury that one. And uh, that one, maybe. I need to play this. I'm going to upgrade that card and put it in my hand. <laughs> That's kind of cool.
A little bit to get going, but we are now going. GG Giant Head Ink Bottle is probably good. Whenever you bury a card, draw a card. Nope. Nope, that shouldn't exist. <laughs> There's no way that should exist. Is there? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that shouldn't exist. Although, I haven't seen much energy generation yet. Maybe it's okay. Lure innate unplayable on draw gain a weak discard this and draw a card. What what is lure? While this is in your deck, its associated predator card will always spawn in non-bossed card rewards that have at least one rare. What? While this is in your deck, its associated predator card will always spawn in non-boss card rewards that have at least one rare. When the corresponding predator card is added to your deck, remove this from your deck. It can only spawn from combat card reward. Oh my. I can't mouse over Ancient Crab though to find out what predatory means. Oh, there's only one way to find out then. Masquerade thanks for 21 months! I'm now weak. Nice. Got him. It does add another crab to my deck. That's, that's a really good point. Card. That one, maybe. Rory one card, that one. Oh, my hand does fall. Kind of rude. Would you be my beach buddy, Twitch chat? I'm actually gonna have a beach day soon. I'm gonna go to the beach in LA. Going to LA next month. Doesn't that sound nice? It sounds nice. Will it be nice? I don't know. It's LA. I feel like it might be okay. Love that for me. Same. And pretty rainy. Nothing will come between me and my beach day. Down with the ship. Let's keep that one, maybe. Beach in April. When I lived in LA, I went to the beach on New Year's Day. <laughs> Welcome to, uh, welcome to LA. And you pretend that you saw me on the beach in a local surf competition. Catching the gnarliest way. Sure. Works for me.
ancient crab. Wait, do I get the rare card as well? Deal 10 damage and apply 4 ink. If fatal, permanently increase ink applied by this card by 1. Ooh, it's ritual dagger. Predatory. If your deck contains the associated lure card, oh, oh. that's what it means? Oh, okay. Whatever. I thought I was going to mean something cooler. But I guess it makes sense that that is what it means. I wonder if it's even good. Oh, I get to dig as well? Wait, it said I got to dig. When buried, return this in your hand, then dig. Oh, there was nothing in my discard pile, probably. Upsetting. Upsetting. Yeah. Deals less damage than another bitch, but it would. Um, oh well. You like this character's of flavor, but also you just really like crabs. Believable and relatable. Horn Cleat. I think the boat relics should do extra for this character. My humble opinion. I'm gonna take another beach buddy. I don't know if you can stop me. Imagining how silly this would be with either Ninja Relic. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> Imagine if I could block in any way. That'd be kind of cool. Gosh, these are not easy to remove. I might remove this. Each buddy is a block card. Okay. Questionable. I don't know if that's true. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my coal. Oh, 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 oh. quite worked out how I'm blocking. I think I maybe just have enough at this difficulty at least.
a card to keep on top. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Things are still happening. <laughs> Oh, that was great. Now he loses two strength. If enemy intends to attack, deal damage equal to enemy and taunt. Oh. Why don't our crabs have a knife? Can you imagine if a crab had a knife? Terrifying. That just seems unsafe. Just seems unsafe. my only block card. We did it. We found our singular rare that can block once. Only a matter of time before Wizards of the Coast slaps us with the cease and desist. They can't they can't contain us. We have the pirate bay. Good luck, Wizards of the Coast. You'll need it. Choose a card to upgrade and put in your hand. What? Oh, I like soft locked the game or something? That's kind of interesting. Wait, I'm burying and digging at the same time. GG. Guess I lose. You're learning about Blades in the Dark. Did Alex get you into it? Well, I don't really want to, I guess I'll restart the fight, I don't know. On the bright side, I absolutely do not remember what I did last time, so... I don't feel like I'm getting an unfair advantage here. I remember I draw Cyclone here. Okay. How do I feel about Carve Reality for the Watcher Belt? Is it worth two mana to be able to spread damage? I like that. Carve Reality is a good attack. But it doesn't really have anything to do with the Watcher Belt. I guess I can't play down with the ship, is what we discovered. I don't entirely know why it crashed the game, but it did. Maybe I can this time. Nope! So the problem is that it's burying the crab, right? I think the problem is that it's burying the crab. Is that because my hand is full? I don't know.
Wait, the crab's just broken. I don't know about this crab. The crab seems to want me to not be able to finish the run. <laughs> I love how every time I do something, it's weirder than the last time. Does it work this time? Oh, it worked that time. I don't really know why. Is any system as good as GURPS? <laughs> I played a GURPS a couple of times. Gosh, combat did not really work for me in GURPS. amount of time wondering what the fuck is happening <laughs> while playing this character. It could really be anything. I think the problem is digging with a full hand. Mm. Unlucky. You don't think GURPS combat is meant to work? Yeah, I think that's very plausible. Confused too. Good. We're in this together, then. Alright, I made it through the fight without the game crashing. Call it a win. <laughs> the flag is like. The flag needs to go behind the text box, I think. That just looks kind of weird. Orange palette seals like it would be good here. Don't disagree. Can't afford it. Cannon time. I assume that it's even stronger if you wait until uh, after you've won the run. Whenever you apply ink, apply an additional ink. Neat. Sturdy would guarantee mad bugs. I can love mad bugs. Let's do it. This one. cards out of my hand though. A bunch of shitty cards stuck in my hand. is not what I want at all. So then once I'm home now. Transform book. I'll put it in your hand when you transform it. That means I want to wait until the heart fight, right? Ooh, nunchaku. Ooh, nunchaku. Double all debuffs on enemy. 
fascinating. Is that strong? It's like, okay. So. How to block. Kind of an interesting question. Right click to permanently replace this with platinum cannon trinket. At the start of combat, add a cannon to your hand. Oh. I would have had it on my hand anyway. Retain exhaust. While this is in your hand, retain one cannonball this turn. Wait, does it say that somewhere? I feel like it doesn't say that anywhere. Uh, okay. And then when I play it, it does this stuff. The next cannonball you play this turn plus zero. Okay. I think I understand. Maybe. I might understand. Why don't I just play it twice? Neat. Come crabbed, my friend. Eat it when I get crabbed. Sweet. Turn one is done. Why was I taking zero during the storm text? I don't know. <laughs> Do I seem like I would know the answer to that question? I'm being attacked for zero. Hopefully that goes okay. Yet. There's more. Oh shit, there's there's more again. That works for me, that's fine. Oh no, I'm dead. How the mighty have fallen. I think I can probably deal 258 this turn. I think there's a decent chance that this just deals 258, like just by itself. I need to put that in the top because otherwise, yeah, okay. It's that's lethal, right? Working on it, working on it, right there. Okay. Alright, GG! The Abyssal. What does Ink have to do with pirates? Treasure maps. This is a character about treasure and digging. <gasps> There's a cutscene at the end? Oh shit! What's happening? <gasps> we found our boat! It's wonderful. 
really happy for us. Is it time to jump straight to Ascension 20 now? It's time to have a nap. Maybe to play XCOM? Probably to have a nap. Probably to have a nap. I like the character. That seemed fine. I haven't seen many ways to make energy. I don't know if I saw any ways to make energy. Like XCOM is the better option, but naps are great. 95% chance to nap, but leaves 5% chance of XCOM. Mm -hmm. There was the gem that when you bury it, it gains you energy. That's true. Oh, I bet that goes infinite. Oh, yeah, that totally goes infinite, huh? Unless it is the top card of your draw pile? In which case, it's in your hand. But there's the thing that lets you draw and discard. You could discard it, but that doesn't bury it. I want to look at the card pool and see what else there is. Let me just do that now. Compendium. This is a different one. Draw a card and gain an energy when you bury this play. What? 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 Kraken. Stun enemy. Oh, no. Oh. I don't like stunning enemies. It's ironic because it's in my mod. <laughs> I still don't like it. Ancient map and ancient jewel. Twenty gold is a lot of gold to lose on a combat. Jettison kind of interesting. I I wonder. I wonder if this tends toward larger decks to make use of berry or. Very small decks because I think the starter deck is pretty strong and you have a decent amount of ways to win off a 10 card deck. I don't know. When you bury a card, exhaust it and gain three block. Whoa. That's something. Deal 24 damage permanently or replace this card with a retreat. Permanently replace this card with an overexert. Over huh. Hmm. Mysterious means you can't upgrade it outside of combat, but you can inside combat. Attend to cash. Bury a card, then dig. 
what is the like why would you bury something and then dig it straight up again that just seems like a lot of work dark plans apply 10 ink to all enemies for each time this was buried but So you have to upgrade it, and then, oh, okay. Sorcerer attack deals 11 damage, removes all artifacts, and applies one corrupt artifact. I feel like stopping enemies from getting to buff themselves is kind of eh. The enemies just don't do very much in this game. That's like, I don't know, it's, that might feel weird to you. Well, maybe it doesn't actually. I feel like when I'm playing the game, it feels like the enemies do quite a lot, but when I'm watching somebody else play the game, it's very evident that the enemies don't actually do very much. I wonder if that's how you all feel as well. Play a card from your discard pile. Cannot choose hatch point. Mm, that would be a two card in for that. Makes sense. All right. I'm going to go have a nap. Thanks for hanging out today, everybody. Perhaps I will stream later. I don't know. I could. It's allowed.